what is the most effective method of detection of bile duct stones and tumors? Uh, usually, those patients who have developed stones in the bile duct are the stones they are present in the gallbladder. Okay. And these gallbladder stones they slip into the bile duct and they cause jaundice. Now, for our viewers, I would like to share a very important information what types of jaundice we deal with in our day to day practice. There are two major types of jaundice one is medical jaundice, this is the cause because of hepatitis, okay. which has affected the liver. There's inflammation of the liver leading to jaundice, where we uh, do encounter patients with hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis A, hepatitis E. There are so many such variants. So when a patient has liver inflammation, we call it medical jaundice. When patient has outflow obstruction of the bile, so what usually happens is the bile is produced in the liver, is stored in the gallbladder. When the food arrives in the stomach and the small intestine, the gallbladder squeezes like a balloon. The bile comes from the bile, uh, gallbladder into the bile duct and from the bile duct it gets poured in the first part of the small intestine or second part of the small intestine. So when there is a block of the flow of the bile, we call it obstructive jaundice. So what can obstruct the flow of the bile? The most common cause is the stone which comes from the gallbladder into the bile duct and this bile duct stones can occlude the flow leading to jaundice. So we need to understand that the most fundamental investigation to evaluate that is a liver function test, a blood test and an ultrasound of abdomen which will give you a rough idea whether this is a medical jaundice or a obstructive jaundice. Okay. Once you are sure with obstructive jaundice and you don't know the reason on ultrasound, you need to do something called endoscopic ultrasound. Now endoscopic ultrasound is the most accurate technique or technology in the world in trained hands to have an accuracy of around 99%. So once you have uh, endoscopic ultrasound diagnosis, you have stones in the bile duct, in the same sedation the patient can be subjected for endoscopic removal of those stones. If there is a tumor in the bile duct, you can take biopsy with endoscopic ultrasound and also put a stent to relieve the jaundice at the same time with endoscopy. So a combination of endoscopic ultrasound and ERCP, it is called, we can diagnose and treat patients with bile duct stones or tumors leading to obstructive jaundice.